guys, it's Renee. For today's baking video, we're going to be making some really cute rose cookie pops. These are not only super cute, but they are super jammy. And this, I think, are the best option for Mother's Day that is coming up. So before we start, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is working on my cookie dough. I do have a recipe on my channel, and I'm just going to be rolling it with my rolling pin with my space bands. I do have a tutorial on my space bands as well. This is not only going to be helping you have all your cookies the same thickness and because all your cookies are going to have the same thickness they are going to be ready most likely at the same time so once I have done that I'm just going to be working on cutting my cookies I'm using a kind of a daisy cookie cutter that says you can use round cookie cutters you can use any shape you like and then with my leftover cookie dough I'm just going to be cutting some leaves using my leaf cookie cutter and then I'm just going to be placing all this on the fridge for a while for the whole thing to chill a bit because it's going to be easier for the next step. Once my cookies are a bit firm and chilled, I'm just going to take my barbecue stick and insert them first through my leaf like that. And then I'm just going to place my barbecue stick through my flower or to my rose or to my um, the top part of my cookie pretty much. So I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing in all of my cookies. So the whole thing goes to the oven for about 8 minutes, no more than that. And now we're going to be decorating them using buttercream because I wanted my roses to be a bit more fluffy and I just wanted to give this idea a try. I'm using my recipe that I have at tutorial on my channel. I'm using some food coloring. I'm using green, purple, pink and yellow. I'm using some spatulas to just mix the whole thing and some plates. But I'm just going to be separating that amount into four different plates and then I'm just going to add the colors. I just added two drops per color. But then I just saw the colors and I thought it, they were too vibrant. I just wanted to go for something more vintage or just more antique looking. And I just added a small drop of chocolate food coloring. Okay, moving on to the decoration itself. I'm working first with a piping bag and my piping tip number 2D from Wilton. I'm going to fill my piping bag with my buttercream and I'm just going to start working on my rows. But what I did is just start from the middle part and then working my way in a clockwise way and never stop pushing. Don't over push it because then it's going to be like super messy application. You know, go around it and don't stop pushing until you're done. And then on top of that, I'm just going to add some white sprinkles to just make the whole thing pop up a bit more and I love them. And here's another like take of the whole thing so you can see how it looks like from there. And then some sprinkles on the top as I did with the other ones. And that's pretty much it for the roses. If you want to go for more um, colors or just more designs or just whatever, just go ahead and do it. Now for the actual leaves, I'm just going to be using my piping bag, my couplers, and my piping tip number 352. This is like the leaf tip. So to make the leaf, you're just going to place your piping tip like that, kind of like the open part where you can't see it if you're like standing right above it. But then just push the buttercream as you pull it towards you. And then practicing a bit or a piece of parchment paper is going to help you a lot. Especially if you don't really have a lot of practice in this. If you do, then you're good to go. But that's pretty much it for like the roses. I think it looks super adorable. Now, as far as uh, having a bit more presentation or you get inspired from this to give it to your mom or just to somebody on Mother's Day, you can always like use a plate to just carry them. Or you can do this, what I did, that I ended up putting all my roses in with just one plate. And I just hope you enjoy them too. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. So happy Mother's Day. And if you're a mother yourself, happy day. If you're not, I hope you enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching. Remember, this idea can be applied any time of the year. It doesn't have to be necessarily for Mother's Day. But I thought it was a cute day to share this idea. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.